Hello everyone, welcome to MEP Booster. So in this lecture, we'll discuss FM200 fire suppression system. After the end of this lecture, you would be able to understand what is FM200 fire suppression system. Then we'll discuss where we need to use the FM200 and then we'll show you the difference between FM200 clean agent and water based system. Then we'll discuss about the components of FM200 and its working advantages and disadvantages of FM200 system. So let's start. So first of all here we'll see what is FM200 system, fire suppression system. So see FM200 system is a type of clean agent, okay, fire suppression system that uses HFC 227EA means heptafluoropropene as it extinguishing agent ok so it is a hollow carbon clean agent that is waterless non explosive non flammable odorless and a liquefied clear, clear gas that is pressurized and used as a fire extinguishing agent rated for class A, B and C type fire providing a total flooding solution ok so FM200 is commonly used in area where water based fire suppression system like a sprinkler could damage sensitive equipment or valuable asset ok clear now that FM200 is a colorless odorless and non conductive gas which means is uh, it was not damage electronics, documents or other sensitive equipment, okay? It was introduced in 1993, replacing Helen, which was banned due to its impact and ability to deplete the ozone layer. Okay, unlike uh, water or foam system, FM200 leaves no residue, meaning no cleanup is required after discharge. Okay, and it has a low ozone depletion potential, but has a high global warming potential. So it is often used under regulated circumstances only. Okay. So now here we'll see where is FM200 fire suppression system used. So here some see common application is given like data center, data hall. Okay. Even here see the server room tally telecom room ups room switch room libraries museums medical facilities as i discussed in earlier that uh, it is commonly used in area where water based fire suppression system uh, like a sprinkler would damage could damage sensitive in equipment or valuable asset okay so you can use this fm200 so now here we'll see the FM200, the difference between FM200 and water based system. What are the major difference that we'll discuss here. Okay. So the main reason for using a clean agent suppression system is that upon any discharge, be it accidental or actual, there is a limited risk of damage caused to the equipment and space being protected as it is electrically non-conductive leave no residue water or corrosive materials ok so when comparing FM200 clean agent fire suppression system and water fire suppression water based fire suppression system both have distinct characteristics suited for specific environment and application ok whereas with a water based system see such as a sprinkler or pre-action system, water damage could generally be experienced and it is a lot slower to response, meaning an increase in the business downtime, damage to equipment, material, asset and an increase of repair cost after fire. So normally FM200 use heptafluoropropane, uh, a gaseous fire suppression agent, okay. It is a colorless, odorless and non-conductive gas. Correct. While the water based system uses water or foam as the extinguishing agent. Okay. 
this is the first difference clear this thing and uh, fm200 is best suited for area where the presence of water could damage equipment data or critical assets so that is why i have shown you it is ideal for data center telecommunication room libraries museum ups room switch room etc okay so it is suitable for area where human are present because it is safe to discharge in occupied spaces okay but water based system commonly used in general building protection particularly in area where water damage is not a concern so that is why water based system is ideal for warehouses manufacturing facility residential and commercial buildings parking garage okay it is used in high hazard areas like industrial plant where large quantity of water are needed to control the fire okay now we'll see about the components of uh, fm200 fire suppression system so here you have to remember one point that fm200 fire suppression system consists of several component uh, that work together to detect and suppress fire effectively without damaging sensitive equipment or asset okay here we'll see in detail so in that the first one is the clean agent gas fm200 clean agent gas okay so as you know that heptafluoropropane is the fire suppression gas used in fm200 system na their formula is hfc227ea heptafluoropropane gas normally used in fm200 system okay which extinguishes fire by removing heat and disrupting the chemical reaction of combustion and it leaves no residue and is safe for use in occupied spaces the second component is shown pressure gauges so it is a mechanical gauge that attached to each fm200 storage cylinder which display the pressure inside the fm200 cylinder helping to monitor if the cylinder is fully charged and ready for ex activation so regular pressure check ensure the system is operational then we have a pressure relief valve it is a safety valve install in the system to release excess pressure okay then pilot pilot line is shown it is a pneumatic or hydraulic line that connect the primary cylinder to secondary cylinder in multi cylinder system okay so when the primary cylinder is activated the pilot line opens the other cylinder ensuring simultaneously discharge of the fm200 gas this is the main purpose of pilot line then the next component is shown bottle cage it provides physical protection and proper arrangement of the cylinders to prevent damage and ensure safety during storage and discharge okay then hangers and supports normally ensure that the system piping and cylinder are firmly mounted stable and properly aligned to deliver the gas effectively okay so normally the hanger and support supporting devices we are using to secure the distribution pipes and cylinders then the discharge header it is a piping component that connect multiple cylinder in a system okay so discharge header directs the flow of gas from multiple fm200 cylinder into the distribution pipe work for discharge across the protected areas distribution pipe work is given here all of you know that pipes normally used for what purpose to transport the fm200 gas na from the cylinder to the discharge nozzle so distribution pipe work designed to deliver the gas evenly across the entire protected area okay so the pipe work must be sized and installed correctly to ensure proper flow rate and pressure distribution then the next component is discharge nozzles uh especially specially designed nozzle placed throughout the protected area uh, this nozzle na discharge nozzle discharge the fm200 gas into the room or enclosure then finally we have a control panel also which receive signal from the smoke or heat detector 
and activate alarms and initiate the discharge of FM200 gas. Okay. It also provides feedback on the system status and can manually trigger to stop uh, trigger or stop the discharge. Simple. Okay, so these are the component of FM200 fire suppression system. Then uh, smoke heat detectors are also there. Okay, sounder, bells. Okay, all of you know the sounder or bell normally we are using for what purpose? To alert people na? or to alert occupant when the FM200 system is about to activate. So giving them time to evacuate the area before the gas is discharged. Clearly. Now here we'll see how does FM200 system work. Okay. See it is given here. FM200 is designed to held as a liquefied compressed gas in the bottle cylinder once discharged through to the pipe work and nozzle it will change state to vapor due to its low boiling point where it will absorb heat from the space. So as a fire requires three things to start you know that fuel oxygen and heat. So removing the heat will restrict it from starting. So according to NFPA 2001 once a fire has been detected and the FM200 release, it should discharge fully into the space with a maximum discharge time permitted of 10 seconds which include putting the fire out. Okay. So how, how the FM200 system works? Simply first of all the smoke or heat detector detect the early stages of a fire and send a signal to the control panel. Then the control panel processes the signal, activate alarm like sounder or bell and send a command to release the FM200 gas. The pilot line activate all connected cylinder, then FM200 gas is released through the discharge header, travel through the distribution pipe work and exit through the discharge nozzle. Okay. So the FM200 gas fill the protected area, rapidly extinguishing the fire by interfering with the combustion process and then pressure relief wall ensures safe operation preventing over pressure during the discharge process then audible alarm manual release station and abort switches allow for control and safety during system activation so in this way all the component of fm200 system will work clear yes tell me Okay. Now here we'll see the advantages of uh, FM200 fire suppression system. So we have a lots of advantage in that few of them we'll discuss here. It is commonly available and uh, designed to be safe and non-toxic for breathing in case people are in a space where activate. So as you know that FM200 leaves no residue. So meaning no need for post discharge cleanup. So okay, so this is especially important for protecting sensitive equipment like electronics, uh, servers or documents. Even it is safe for occupant spaces also. No? FM200 is safe for use in spaces where people are present as it does not significantly deplete oxygen level or pose a threat to human life. So the gas concentrate Concentration used for fire suppression are non-toxic, which make it a good solution for environments like hospital or office spaces. Okay. Next, it is simple to install and simple to commission. Okay. So it is very simple. Inst installation is simple. And clean, no leave no residue or sensitive equipment like server and electronic that we have discussed. Okay. So these are the some advantage. Now see the disadvantage of FM200. In that the first one is given expensive compared to a wet uh, system. So the installation cost of this system and the even the maintenance cost is high. Okay, FM200 system can be expensive to install compared to 
traditional fire suppression system like a sprinkler. Maintenance of this system including regular checks and gas refill after discharge can also add to ongoing cost. Clear this thing? Then it is designed to be total flooding system so the complete system will discharge. This is the another uh, you can say disadvantage. And the health and safety consideration for installation. Okay. So while FM200 is generally used for human in normal concentration, exposure to very high concentration or prolonged exposure may cause health issues such as uh, respiratory, respiratory distress. Okay. So evacuation is recommended before discharge. Okay. Remember this thing. Now here you can see the FM200 example wiring diagram is shown. So is it clear? So here some key component is given in the FM200 system wiring. If you try to understand, see. Here first of all the control panel is shown. So as I told you this is the central unit that control and monitor the entire FM fire suppression system. So control panel receive input from detectors, activate alarms and control the release of the FM200 agents. Okay. So see the control panel is wired to various component like uh, detectors, alarms, solenoids and manual release station. Then here you can see the detectors is shown. So each detector is wired to the control panel through a series circuit or loop system. Okay. Often in a class A or class B configuration. So this ensure that if a fire is detected, the signal is sent back to the control panel. Okay. So in a class A configuration, the wiring form a loop providing redundancy. If one wire is cut or damaged, the other wire can still carry the signal. Okay, or in a class B configuration, the det detectors are wired is a, in a single loop. So if one wire is cut, the detector beyond the break will not function. Okay, many other like manual re uh, release stations are also there. So the manual release station is wired to the control panel with a dedicated connection. So pressing this button, send a signal to the control panel to immediately release the agent. Simple. Okay. So now the topics which we have covered in this session, first we have discussed that what is FM200 system, where we have to use and what is the difference between FM200 fire suppression system and water based system. Then I have shown you the components of FM200 system and its working. After that we have discussed the advantages and disadvantages of FM200 system. Hope all of you enjoy the session. See you in next one.